Hey, it's Hazel. It's my first vlog ever. I've been like wanting to do this for like a hot second. I just never did until right now. Um, bit about me, I'm in Orlando. I had like Mickey Mouse and I also work for the company that um, made Mickey Mouse um, at one of the places where you can get Mickey Mouse to get your autograph at, also known as the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Um, this vlog is gonna be like my life. Probably not gonna do it every day. It's gonna do uh, what I do and just do it. I think I'm going to a show tonight called IRL up in Winter Park. That should be cool. But yeah, I'll also probably show like music snippets and other weird stuff. Now the big portion of this vlog is gonna be me making food because I like food and people always tell me to like write a cookbook and I don't really feel like writing. So I'm gonna just show you how to make stuff. So tonight I'm just making some like pasta. It's gonna be pretty simple. Um, we got some like a Trader Joe's whole wheat spaghetti. It's gonna be our main pasta. Also gonna make some of this corn uh, chick with the apostrophe and nuggets. I am vegetarian, I don't really eat meat. I do eat fish, but not meat. So we're doing this in the skillet with some sauce. And by sauce, I'm out of like real piece of sauce. So I'm just gonna make it kind of like, got some pesto and uh, it's like butter and some spinach and gonna kinda saute it all up and then I'll put the pasta in there and then I'll eat it. And then I'm probably gonna do some garlic bread too. Here's the water, it's boiling. I should probably pick up the slack and actually work on this. Ooh, got the nice steam on there. And so for the sauce action, I just got some like earth balance. Put this on like medium high, kinda let it melt a little. And then I'm gonna put, these like are supposed to like, you can either cook them in the oven or the microwave, but I think I'm gonna just kinda like pan frying them and then just kinda use the same pan for everything. Kind of save some dishes, get some extra like crispy flavor, you know? Whole wheat pasta. Ugh. Some of that. I add a little bit more. There we go. All right, so over here in this other pan, uh, butter's kind of melts in. Kind of get it around the pan. Got some uh, little squeeze garlic. Kind of poop it out there. Gonna get this stirring around here. Now we're gonna get some of these lovely mounds of protein going. Pop it out, it's kind of Sprinkle out these nuggets here. Yes, these are chicken nuggets, by the way. I'm just rolling with what we got here. Get going. Damn, that was like the whole pack. <laughs> There's like four left. My pot. Oh fuck, I forgot to start <laughs> on the like pasta. Okay. Um, that was my bad. I'm too getting used to talking to myself here. Okay, so the last video clip was like two minutes long, so I'm gonna assume this pasta's been in here for like four minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer for four more minutes. Uh, this pasta is supposed to cook al dente six to eight minutes. I always like it al dente, so I always just do the lower end. So I'll do on the clock there, and then hopefully it won't be too gross. I'm also kind of excited too, if even if like stuff I make is a flop, like I really hope it, this is like a good document of like why it was a flop and how you can make it better and just kind of trial by error. Learning as we're going, a truly cinema verite here. Also, like I should do the plug for quote unquote audience engagement here. Um, if you want me to cook something specifically, just leave it in the comments or hit me up somehow and I'll look up recipe. Also just send me recipes too, or just like tell me an ingredient to use. I so I'm gonna get this garlic toast going. What I have right here is our little pizza pan. Um, we don't have any cookie sheets here, so I just use this to like bake anything on. Uh, just always cover in aluminum foil. I'm gonna do like four slices. This is just like Publix run of the mill bread. I'm just gonna like season it up a little. Like in a perfect world, I'd probably use like Texas toast or like that sweet Hawaiian or like sourdough. That's really good. Um, but this is what we're dealing with today. This is improvisational avant garde cooking right now. Okay, so I mentioned the show is about trial and error. So as you can see, I fucking burn the shit. Um, I'm turning on the heat and trying to stir this and look more often at it. I have some more oil so I'd have more like liquid wise to deal with here. I also might add a little bit of this balsamic vinegar, kind of a little bit of acid, a little bit of the wine texture going on there, kind of let it cook down, let it cook off. Uh, this is done, I need to strain this shit. Alright, so we don't have a strainer in this apartment, so I've been trying to strain it very carefully with this, like on top, and I fucked up. Alright, so we're gonna add in some of uh, the spinach right now. Kind of like maybe make it look a little bit prettier. I'm gonna add a lot and just kind of wilt it down. You know, I also just realized like halfway through making this that I'm out of fucking Parmesan cheese. So like, uh, um, I'm probably gonna be using a lot of pesto to kind of make up for the, the cheese loss. And all I've got is like shredded Mexican cheese. So like, we'll see what we got. I pretty much emptied out the rest of this like jar of 
pesto. It's the Trader Joe's pesto. It's not like the fridge one. It's like the one that they have other places where it's there. So that's basically the rest of the jar in there. So I'm gonna stir this all up and hopefully it tastes okay. I'll add some stuff to remedy it, remedy it in a bit. Hopefully. <laughs> I might also like fuck around and make this a cream sauce with like some salad dressing, which like, to be honest, I've like definitely stooped that low to put like salad dressing as like a like sauce for pasta. <laughs> I've done the pour. Also a really good thing that I've done like in high school that's really good actually is like using roasted red pepper hummus um, with like some day old pasta that are like butter noodles or whatever have you. Uh, just kind of like heat it up together and stir it around and that tastes really good. So in the time since we last met, um, I put in the pasta to here and it actually looks kind of appealing now. I'm just kind of like letting the extra water that didn't strain out kind of cook off right now. Um, added in some like Trader Joe's onion salt, um, some red pepper, and yeah, we're just kind of chilling. Then I also put in um, my toast in the oven. I just put it on bro because usually my like go-to ideal way to do this would be to have a toaster oven, but I don't, so I just put it on broil here. Um, this is what this is looking like. They've got some like Mexican shredded cheese mix because I'm out of there. We've got some of the butter, like a very tiny bit of pesto, like the last bit that was in my thing. Some of the onion salt again, um, Italian seasoning, uh, red pepper flakes, chili powder, and we're gonna let that kind of just crisp up and melt and then we'll be good. I would have to say, I think this meal is turning around, hopefully for the good. I'll let you know when I actually like taste it. So I accidentally kind of burned this a little, but um, I've done this before and it tastes pretty good because the cheese kind of like saves the bottom of this. Yeah, like the bottom is fine. It's just like the top's burnt, so like, just kind of put that towards the top of your mouth and you'll be fine. So I think we're ready for some plating here. So we're gonna get our pasta out here first. Gonna just slop it on in this bowl. I kind of like bowls better than plates, you know? Especially for pasta. Like, it is a very bowl-worthy food, noodles, you know? So we got that in there. If I would have had Parmesan cheese, I would have added that on top, but I don't, so like, deal with it. I um, need some of our like, fake chicken. Some of the spinach up there. And then top it off. Let's grab one of our burnt slices of toast here. Put it off to the side. There you go. I have to take out the the bread because it kind of looks kind of gross, but I'll kind of like add the lighting. I never like retouch my photo pictures. I might add like a Snapchat filter, but like that's literally about it. Um, I don't face tune my food. I don't make it look any better like that. I just tell it like it is. Let's get it here. So we're gonna get the photo. I'm gonna post Twitter. I'm gonna see what my followers think about my food that I made tonight. All right, so moment of truth, time to actually taste this, see if it tastes good. Got this bread here. I'm about to be the beta tester for this food. Um, if it sucks, I'll make sure to put that in the comments and um, I'll let the developers know that there needs some fixing before it goes into uh, production mode. Um, I do have my garlic toast here. I'm gonna try it out real quick. Ooh, that is, ooh, that pull apart, ooh, that was good, that was good, I need to do that again. Look at this. Uh... Wow. That was something. Let me try this first. Mmm. That was really good. The, like... Italian seasoning mix that I got is really, really good. There's a lot of sage in there. There's some like oregano. It just really feels really homey. And like, even though it is burnt right here, it is very like white on the side as you see. So I guess it, it really evens out and I don't really taste the burntness as much. So the bread kind of looks ugly, but it is a success here. All right, moment of truth, time for this. Get a nice little spiral here. Check out these noodles. Gonna go on and try a bite here. Hmm. Pretty good. Um, pretty good. It feels like a little bit dry, just from the fact I don't really have much else in there. Like if it had sauce in there, that'd be really good and wet. But overall, it's pretty good. Um, the balsamic vinegar really came out in the chicken, which is good, and the breading on it kind of like got moist, which kind of helped moisten it all up there. I think. Uh, the notes for next time. One, I'd hopefully have real sauce and like more things to actually add to the sauce. Yeah, I think just more things to add to the sauce is like the big thing. The noodles are, noodles are fine. But overall, that's pretty tasty. I'm gonna continue eating this as a normal meal. I'm gonna turn this off because I like, don't wanna feel weird.